Bedrock by Young Money is just like a cavalcade of terrible lyrics, like one after the other, and it's just... I didn't realize until I think after I finished the review how much I really legitimately despise this song. Just what a witless failure of crap. And uh, it's also the last review I completed before I got a call uh, from Channel Awesome. I got an email from Channel Awesome asking if I was interested. And uh, that was a that was a fun day. I don't know. I, I'd had a terrible day at work. I come home. I'm miserable. And Rob Walker had emailed me. Like, I'd never even submitted my stuff to them. And uh, this was, I guess, right after I finished the Bedrock Review. So this was interesting times. And... Um, this is, you know, so this is where I, I realized I had to start stepping it up because I was uh, getting promoted to the big leagues. Yeah, we do take ourselves that seriously at that guy with the glasses. Um, well, here it is. The last, uh, the last one that uh, I haven't yet uploaded to Blip. Bedrock by Young Money. Okay. When a celebrity reaches a certain level of fame, oftentimes he'll have a tendency to tell all his buddies, hey, I'm gonna make you famous too. Would Rob Schneider have gotten any work in the past 10 years if he wasn't friends with Adam Sandler? Probably not. And this is especially true of rappers. This is how we got such luminaries as G-Unit, D12, the Saint Lunatics, the Rough Riders, the Refugee All-Stars, and a bunch of other losers who never ever escaped their mentor's shadow. But is that always the case? No, it's not. Lil Wayne, who is the hottest rapper in the universe right now, he started out as a member of another rapper's posse, and his group project, Young Money, already launched another budding superstar with Drake. But now it comes time to see if he can do the same for Young Money's other members. Members like Mac Main, Jay Mills, Lil Chucky, Lil Twist, T Streets, and a bunch of other names which sound like I'm just making them up, though I swear to God I'm not and they all get a chance to prove themselves on their new song, BEDROCK! Oh, I wish. No, I'm pretty sure this is some kind of generic love jam or something. This doesn't have anything to do with the Flintstones. Although, wouldn't it be great if it did? I stand corrected. Okay, um, one, congratulations on making the first Flintstones reference I've heard in a song since Weird Al. Okay, the other thing, Flintstones is a pretty fitting reference because that punchline is prehistoric. That was old when I was a kid. You built an entire song out of an ancient Leisure Suit Larry joke. Way to go. One of two things happened here. Either A, they thought it was a seriously smooth pickup line, or B, they thought it was funny. And either way, they're wrong. They're wrong. But the hook is just there to connect the verses to each other, right? I'm sure those are great. Take it away, Lil Wayne. She got that good, good. She Michael Jackson bad. I can't think of how comparing a woman to Michael Jackson is flattering, but uh, we'll let that one slide. Michael Jackson bad. I'm attracted to her for her attractive very. Most popular rapper in the world, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Wow. Take you all day to think of that one? Okay, Lil Wayne clearly did not bring his A-game today. Either that or he's a disgustingly overrated rapper. <laughs> and we all know that can't be true. Alright, who's next? What? Gutta gutta. That, that's your rap name. Gutta gutta. Sir, I can tell you're a man of taste and class and intelligence named Gutta Gutta, 
So I can tell you're already clearly well beyond criticism, so I think I'll just skip this verse entirely. Room is the cheese spot. Call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make your bed I, I still can't get over this. The foundation of this entire song is a line so corny you'd think you were listening to country music. Well, isn't this nice? I did not know that one of the Rugrats could rap. If you have to ask, you'll never know. So pretty. This girl sounds like Betty Boop on Helium. <laughs> it's really annoying. He say Nikki, don't stop. You the bestest. And I just be coming off the top as bestest. Okay, this needs to be addressed right now. I don't know if this is new or what, but I've been noticing it a lot lately, especially from the Lil Wayne camp. Look. But I love to watch her leave, but I keep her running back and forth. team. Forget a couple words! These guys do it all the time. The words and ideas don't flow into each other. They just pile up into this free association train wreck. Lil Wayne is basically the rap version of a raving insane homeless person. And that's not me saying that. That's his fans saying that. That's what they like about him. But the weirdest example of this comes from <clears throat> Gutta Gutta. And I got a grocery bag. <sighs> grocery bag. I've listened to this one line over and over again trying to make sense of this. At one point, I hunted down the unedited version to see if maybe they took out some words. And it turns out they did. And I got a nigga grocery bag. <gasps> I got nothing. Well, now up to bat is Drake, who I actually like. Let's see Drake do his magic. Oh, Drake, buddy, Talladega Nights reference? Nothing sexier than comparing yourself to Will Ferrell. Seriously, shake and bake? I couldn't even remember what that meant. I mean, that just hits the sweet spot where it's too obscure for people to know what you're referencing, but it's not obscure enough that you get hipster points for it. It's like referencing the love guru. I will say this. Drake does recover. Oh, that was your girl. I thought I recognized her. And that's more than I can say for the next guy, who I think has the worst part of an already awful song. She like tanning, I like staying in. She watching that oxygen, I'm watching ESPN. But when that show ends, she all on my skin, low chance. Wow. You'll get right down to the lovemaking after you're both done watching TV. What are you going for there? That's not sexy, and it's not romantic. No one wants to hear the stupid little details of your domestic life. Next thing you know, we're in the bathroom brushing out teeth. That's all part of it. That's foreplay. Then you go sort out the recycling, which isn't part of the foreplay, but it's still very important. She ain't got a man. The last guy on the track isn't even worth mentioning. Although I do notice that he's repeating cliches from earlier in the song. She knows she bad. She knows she bad. Michael Jackson bad. And that raises the question. How am I supposed to tell these guys apart? These new guys are all boring. The one girl on the track can probably get more girls than these guys. My room is the cheese spot. Call me Mr. Flintstone. I can make you better. Flintstones, Transformers. Lil Wayne just hates my childhood memories. Ooh, baby, be stuck to you. you know, I've been focusing on how much the chorus sucks. I forgot to mention the singer. I don't know who this Lloyd guy is, but he sucks. I mean, listen to this weedy little nobody. Hey, gutta gutta. How would you describe this guy? No Stevie Wonder. Right on. Yeah, I'll say it. This is the stupidest song I've heard in quite some time. Once again, my faith in pop music has been destroyed, which means that once again, it's time to kill myself. And I know just how to do it, too. Grocery bag.